In this special episode of Two Minute Roundup, we're saying goodbye to 2014 with some of the best, worst, and most ridiculous stories of the year. It's all coming up in this week's Blast of Wildlife News. We're kicking it off with last year's best DIY, a YouTube tutorial, some plumbing parts, and $5 later, staff at Piracicaba Municipal Zoo in Brazil gave this disabled porcupine a nifty wheelchair to whiz around on after it was found beaten. Rescue win. Unfortunately, it hasn't been all win for humans this year. Remember tiger selfies? Yeah, it was a thing. And it's this year's biggest face palm. The state of New York had to ban the popular trend after the dating app Tinder saw a surge of tiger selfie profile pics. 2014 was a big year for selfies, but none caused more controversy than the infamous monkey selfie. This snap-happy primate got its hands on wildlife photographer David J. Slater's camera in Indonesia. Much to Slater's dismay, it was decided that no one owned the rights to the photo. That brings us to the most important mission of the year. Photographer Stephen Belcher crowdfunded an expedition to Ujong Hula National Park to get the first HD images of critically endangered Javan rhinos. With just 50 left in the world, these might be the only photos of their kind we ever get to see. Speaking of rhinos, we have to tip our hats to the Cincinnati and Buffalo zoos for their conservation science move of the year. This little Indian rhino baby was the first ever to be successfully conceived using cryogenically frozen sperm. Because the captive breeding program population is so small, this was a big deal. It takes dedicated people to save wildlife. And sometimes that dedication surprises even us. Like when wildlife ecologist Dr. David Steen gave a turtle mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation after it nearly drowned in an underwater trap. That one is hard to beat. Unless you're Beetle George Harrison. In what was arguably the most ironic story of the year, the rock legend's memorial tree in Los Angeles' Griffith Park was eaten by beetles. From beetles to caterpillars and the year's best squee, the walnut sphinx moth caterpillar uses its terrifying squee to ward off would-be predators. The sound you hear comes from air forced out of small holes in its sides. Squeeze could be heard around the world after this year's best collective effort, ending the shark hole in Western Australia. The government scrapped its proposal to continue culling large sharks in the area thanks to work by protesters, policymakers, and scientists. There were so many great wildlife stories this year. Tell us your faves by getting in touch via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. So long 2014, here's to a brand new year.